and we're going to draw it together. This is a lesson on how to draw a ladybug. So there's the picture that I am going to copy, sort of, and we'll do it together. And here we are with art with Jim Freehart on YouTube. So here we go. Let's. I'm putting. I'm putting this little image right next to where I'm going to be drawing, and I'll see if I can kind of copy it. And I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible, make this the easiest lesson that I can. So it looks like we're doing pretty well. We're pretty well aimed at the, the drawing pad. OK. So, so are you ready over there? Yeah. OK, great. So I'm going to, I was thinking, we'd sort of start off with it's almost like an oval shape or maybe an egg. So look, I'm kind of doing a few different lines here. One end of this, I noticed on some of the drawings, one end is kind of a fat end on the ladybug and the other end's a little skinnier. So it's almost like an egg shape. So this is gonna be maybe the fat end down here and the other end comes forward and going to get a little skinnier. So here's what we have. Right at the skinny end, kind of going right across here is a line going, kind of cutting off the top of the egg. Do you see that now? Yeah. Okay, now right in the middle of the fat end, I'm going to put a little dot as close as I can to the, to the middle of this sweep from here over to there and from there over to there. That's about the middle. So see if you can do that. And then we're going to go across here and try and find somewhere just about the middle there. Because there's the very middle up there, and there's the middle of that line. So do you see those dots OK? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm restarting. OK. I'm going to go ahead and darken these lines around the outside just a little bit more. And that's something you could do at the very end of the video, too. I'm just doing it while you're finishing that, Jacob, okay? So you tell me when you're ready. All right, we're good. Now I'm noticing I was off, off just a little bit, so I moved my dot up just a little bit. And that's pretty good there. So what I'm going to do is draw a line from this dot. See how I'm making a kind of a scribbly little light line in case it doesn't go straight? I can fix it easy if, easily if it's not really dark yet. That's going to be the line right down the back of the ladybug. And one side is going to be the cover for one wing. And this will be the cover for the other side of the ladybug's wings. Are you guys set on that part of it? Uh -huh. Okay, there's also, at least on this particular ladybug, they all seem to have some different dots. I'm making a big dot that goes right over the middle of this midline that we put in here. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put another kind of more round dot here and another one just about the same distance away from the, the middle of the, the midline there, the middle line, I'm gonna put another dot here. Then it looks like there's another dot, just a half, it's like a half of a dot, like a half moon or a half circle kind of, because it goes under the body, disappears under the body of the ladybug. There's also one more big dot that just also falls off the edge of this drawing, and one more here. So I try to make it symmetrical. That means if that's about that far away, that should be about that far away, and I didn't quite do it right. I'm moving it over a little. From there to there should be about the same as from there to there, from the midline to the dot, okay? And these little dots, I'm looking at my 
I'm looking at my little drawing or my little photograph, and those dots are not exactly round. They're a little bit oval-like. So I'm going to try and do that same thing in my drawing a little bit. Okay, that's probably good enough. Now these little lines are not even needed, and I'm going to kind of wipe, wipe them away with my finger because I didn't make them very dark. Besides that, we're going to end up shading this whole part in a little bit. This is the red part of the ladybug, and these spots are the black spots, okay? Now here's another part of this. Before we get into shading that in, let's put the next part of this ladybug on, and it goes kind of like this. The, the skinny end of the egg goes about like this, and then there's a head. There's actually a little head sort of sticking out here. See if this makes any sense to you. It's actually one, one thing, but there's white dots there that are confusing. There's a little white dot here and a white dot there. And here's the head of the ladybug right there. It's a little face or it's a little mouth. And it's got a tiny little jaw thing sticking out like that and like that. And then it has an antenna that comes out. It's a little fatter with kind of a little bit of a long little beanie thing on the end. And it gets skinnier and skinnier. And then there's one that comes out the same on the other side that's bigger here. And it gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. And then there are these little teeny lines across it, like the way we did on the palm tree, these little sideways lines going on there. Those are like the little, probably the little hinges on the antenna so they can be flexible. Okay, how are you doing over there? Okay. Now I'm looking, and right about where this line goes across the body of the ladybug, it's about where the front leg comes out. And it kind of goes down, down to a foot, and then the foot goes sort of sideways, and it splits at the end like a little fork. And the same thing happens on the other side. It comes, goes out, and then it, so it bends down and then it goes sideways just a little bit with a little tiny fork at the end. Maybe it's little toes, we'll call it for the fun of it. Now, the, the middle legs go backwards toward the back of the body and they go out just a little ways and down and then a little foot sticking out again with the foot's a little a little bit fatter than some of the leg and this one goes see how it goes they're not going straight out these are kind of going backward toward the back of the body they come out then they go down and then they go sideways like that sort of <clears throat> And then the last legs are just doing the same thing. They're leaning backward and they come all the way down to the little foot sticking out and backwards and down to the last foot sticking out. Okay, wait up. Okay. Yeah, me and my brother aren't there. Going way too fast, right? I think that's... I think that's looking pretty good. It's pretty round, and some of the ladybugs seem to have a really roundish body, and some of them have a more elongated body. This one's a chubby one. It's a little round one. And I can even change that a little bit by making, the, making this come out just a little bit further here at the end. There's actually some little wings. Sometimes the wingtip sticks out underneath there, uh, underneath that protective um, hard shell on their back.
this is pretty, it's pretty good. We are really pretty close. Are you children ready to do a little coloring it in some? No. Not quite? We don't have, to, you don't have to do the smudging yet because we're going to do some coloring and then smudging, okay? And remember, even when I finish, you can go back and do a little extra, okay? So here we go. There's going to be, this part is going to be colored in pretty dark. This part in front of this straight line that came across its body. This is a, this is its head, and this part is really dark. And then we continue coloring in with this spot is really dark too. And the other half of that spot is really dark. And we're going to try and make this ladybug look kind of 3D. So here's how we're going to do it. This spot's really dark. Well, not super dark, but the part that's really dark is the part that's out of the light, which will be down here and down here. These dots are really dark. You can make them any darker than the other ones. These are the darkest ones here and also sticking out under here. This is really dark because it's kind of going under its body a little bit. And this one's going down on the curve of the body. See, I'm making, and then this one's really dark too, because it's way down out of the light, sort of. So that's going to be a really dark dot. And that one's pretty dark. And this one's really dark. And that one's really dark. And this one's pretty dark also. Now my pencil's gotten kind of dull, which is really perfect for what I want to do. Because here's what I'm going to do. I want to make, well, the line down the middle, I want to make this really dark, because this is like a crack between the two halves of the shell, so to speak, the shell that covers, <laughs> covers the wings, right? This is totally good teaching. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> And now do you see what I'm doing, Julian and Jacob? Yeah, shading in all. Yeah, I'm shading in all the rest, but much lighter than the dark spots, right? Yes, much lighter. Much lighter. And I'm even going to leave a big patch. Look what I'm doing over here. I'm making a big patch where I'm going to kind of leave it really light, as if there's light shining off its body. And I'm going to, oh, I forgot to color in this dot. <laughs> there we go. So I'm coloring in all the rest of this. This is really the red part of the shell or the wing covers of the back. And this part I'm leaving really light here. And what I could, could have done, if I have a good eraser, I could go along afterward and just erase a little spot for the highlights. That's really the easiest way to do it. So, are we gonna do any smudging now? Yes. And why don't you tell me what you think about smudging, Julian? Never underestimate the power of smudge. Exactly. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so look what I'm doing. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm keeping my finger inside the body and just going along and kind of smudging all these little scratchy lines to make it look like a shinier and a more even. Um, great yeah, shadowing or time. shading on the on the ladybug. We are nearly finished. So we're going to have a quick look at our drawing. I mean, at our picture. There it is. And. You know what's funny? I can't tell whether this is recording what I'm drawing or what you guys are doing over there. <laughs> so we will find out. Okay, so, join, show. 
So are you guys, are you two ready? Yes. I'm just doing the little final touch-ups and um, I think it's just about done. I think it's done. Oh, I'm gonna put my signature here. If you two each wanna sign your names. Mine is Jim Free Heart. And this little star means celebrate the gift of life. And I hope you do. I hope you celebrate the gift of life. Okay, fantastic. Now, would you children um, each want to show me your drawing? So hold it so that it fills the screen. Now back it away just a little bit. Wow, that is a ladybug if I ever saw one. Cool. Okay. And look at that. Cool. You guys, you guys did a really great one. Now, one thing you might do, Jake, you see where the shell comes up, that little division in the middle of his shell? Watch, I'll point it out on my drawing. See where the, the line comes up here? Make it a little extra dark to go right across that spot. Because we want to remember, that's, that's a little crack between the two halves of the shell. So just darkening that one little bit. There you go, awesome. Great, fantastic. All right, that's the end of our lesson for today. I have a couple things to say. If you enjoyed our lesson, uh, please subscribe. I'd love to have you come back another time. And if you really liked it, then click, click the like button and if you would like to uh, click on the little bell, that means uh, you'll get notified when new videos come out. And the last thing is, if you have any comment about something else you'd like to have a drawing lesson about, feel free to leave me a comment. Okay, thanks so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye for now. You guys wanna wave bye? Okie doke.